there are two different ways you can add brain pop to your canvas class so first is if you want to you can go to like a page create a new page and in the rich, rich content editor you can add a brain pop so I'm going to come over here to the apps icon I'm going to hit the down arrow I've been using it so mine pops up here but chances are yours is going to look like this so just literally click on the word brain pop it'll pull up and the first time you come here it might have you verify who you are if it does it will walk you through the steps it'll ask you to push a button that'll send you an email you're going to copy the verification code in the email come back here to canvas paste it in and you're good to go it'll walk you through the process that'll take you less than 15 seconds okay so once you've done that this will pop up and then from there you can just look for what you're looking for and select it or if you know the title you can type it in I'm gonna go ahead and select similes and metaphors and then I simply come down here and say save or if I'm ready for students save and publish what this does is when students come here they'll literally click on the link so this would be good like on your home page right in your agenda if you're wanting students as an activity to do a brain pop just put it on your home page inside your agenda this link okay um, but they'll come here and here's the similes and metaphors and here's all of the activities and there it is another way you can do it though is you can do it through an actual assignment so I'm gonna go ahead and create an assignment I'll call you, oops, I'll call you brain pop assignment example. Oops. Then in here you can put your directions just like you normally do. How many points is it going to be worth? What group? All this is all the same. But when you come here to submission type, you're going to choose external tool. Okay, so there it is. You're going to say find. We're going to choose brain pop. Select come down here again you can put all this information in I'm gonna go ahead and save or I can save and publish I'm not done yet because I haven't selected the activity yet I get that but I'm gonna pick one of these so I can select the activity so I'm gonna go ahead for now and say save and publish then what it's gonna do is pull up brain pop and so now I can go in and choose whatever it is I want again if I know the title I can already pick it notice it says success this brain pop resource has been selected so now when my students come in to take this assignment it's going to give them the one I picked so let's go ahead and do that so I'm gonna to go to home I'm gonna to go to student view and I'm gonna to go to assignments And I did brain pop oh where did it go sorry I probably scrolled right by it you probably saw it or probably saying stop you passed it there it is okay it's a brain pop assignment when the student comes here the first time they're going to need to type in your class code so in brain pop you've created a class you've got a code for that class you're going to need to tell the student that code again for the first time so that they can enter that code and enter your brain pop class so what canvas is doing is it's eliminating the need for the student to log into brain pop and it's eliminating the need for the student to leave canvas to go to brain pop it's just basically embedding your brain pop class into canvas so you still need to tie the two together by giving the students a class code and you'll still look for all of the um, submissions and scores and all of that inside of your brain pop classroom all right, hope you try out Brain Pop. Let me know how it goes.